Hey guys, welcome back to the Minish Cap. Today we're moving on, doing some more stuff. Uh, I believe we're heading down this way. Oops. Get out of the menu real quick. I mean, doesn't look like there's anything down there. Here we go. Push. This is kind of like four sword stuff in a way. Which is really interesting. Oh my god. Tin stone. Oh god. Tin stone. Oh well, wasn't expecting that, but okay. Okay then. Hello, I am Percy, poet laureate of high rule, and you are Callus. Oh no, no, pleasure is mine. I travel all over the realm writing verse wherever I go. But here I am returning after a long absence only to find the road blocked. It wouldn't feel like such a waste if I hadn't lost half my kinstone. When misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. I think I may have dropped it in the inn I stayed at last night. I see no other course than to put these tragic events to verse. I see stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Though the stone I lost is small, large was its place in my heart. Alright then. Moving on. Oh, this definitely looks like it can blow up. Ooh, I already have one. I'm getting pretty good luck with that. And what a strange feeling I sent something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Uh oh. Oh, it's a fatty! Now he got in pretty easy. Who's there? What fatty? How did you get in here? I don't know, maybe he teleported? What are you doing? Oh. I don't know, his head looked pretty low to the king's... area. <laughs> maybe he was giving him a little, you know, tug-tug. It looks like you're all here. Very well. The king of Hyrule has words for you. You all know of the power of the, the Pecori gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it. It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power. Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the light force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon, him and his family too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. Dick. Maybe it's just the wind, but I hope nothing bad has happened. Anyway, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be around here somewhere. Ooh, just gonna ignore you. Now we can go back that way. I'm guessing I have to fuse kinstones to get that. So this must be Castor Wilds. It's a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. 
but we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... In we go, come on, Kallus, into the muck with us. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think we can walk fast enough to cross the swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. <laughs> and of course I get another kinstone. Alright then. Well. And. I know exactly what we need. Whether I'll get it. Depends on my stupidity. Those guys are real tough. Y'all. Hello. I planted a bean near my house, but it just doesn't want to grow. Like, nobody wants to fuse kinstones? Hello? I guess not. Oh, maybe I have to water it? Oh. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that real quick. I have to get rid of the fairy, though. There should be some water around here somewhere. I'm guessing we can't. Yeah, I didn't think I could get it from there. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit. Oh! That dude's house. Nothing? Uh, of course. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I want my fairy back. So, what we need is the running shoes or the Pegasus boots, whatever they call it in this game. And we get those here in Hyrule Town. And here. Oh. Dude, he passed out. Those shoes are gone now. Hello. Hey, hey, you're Callus, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but then who'd make Ram shoes for him? You need Pegasus boots? Why, well, you're just in time. We made a pair just now while Ram was sleeping. Only Ram can put the finishing touches on them. That sleepyhead ram is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Yeah, that is a bit of a trek. In the back of the forest. Maybe if I just poke his finger. Wake up! Alright, let's see if we can make some progress over to that direction. I'm gonna have to get big first. Uh, not accidentally use the fairy. Hello. Why, hello there. Thanks for coming by. Picolite? Uh. Well, thank you. Oh, crap. Let's go out this way. I've got some blowing up to do. Yeah, that's good enough. Eh, I'd feel weird if I didn't blow that one up too. Sweet. Hello. 
I lost my key and I can't get inside. And the spare key's inside the house. What a pain. I was thinking of going into town to sell Lon Lon milk. Well, don't worry. I can break into your house. Ah, there it is. Oh, I'm guessing I can't, yeah. Oh, our one and only spare key. I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Alice, that's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. Thank you very much, Callus. Come visit us again. Well, in the next episode, we're going to try to figure our way over to Syrup's Hut so we can get that wake-up mushroom thing to help wake up the, the dude to get the Pegasus boots. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we're going to do some more stuff. So until then, bye-bye.